home from work and I've just had my tea, which we had a lovely chicken dinner. So Martin's been at home today, which has been great. So he's cooked tea, which was just lovely. And do you ever have those days where you get home from work late in the day and you realise you've been wearing your clothes back to front all day? Yeah, I've got a Nico top on at the minute by True Bias and the seam for the neckline is here. It should be at the back. I did wonder why it was appeared to be strangling me all day, but I've only just noticed now and I've been seeing patients all day. Anyway, I have finally got my January birder. Obviously, December has just disappeared into the ether now and I'm gonna to have to try and get that off eBay. I watched JJ's lovely um, talk through the birder mag the other night and I've had a quick flick through myself and thought you might like to see which ones I like and then I am going to choose some fabric out of this lot um, you can see some of my gold dot road fabrics there um, to do the pattern off between the Soho Soho over it so over it um, Haxby and the Birder go day skirt so I need to find find the fabric that I bought from Material Girl Laura that I want to use for one of them and also choose another one which I think I'm going to choose something a bit more spring-like so anyway let's have a look at this birder mag and I will show you which are my faves right then so you will have already had a look at this um if you've watched JJ's channel um and I pretty much agree with a lot of what she said actually um I'm not sort of totally enamored with this particular issue that's the word I do like this top this um is designed for woven fabrics like a you know like a silk or a, a viscose something like that and it has a sort of wide neck band with a deep split in the back and um, there's the line drawing there and it's just got simple darts and so it should be fairly easy. I do really like that though and I actually really like that fabric. It reminds me a bit of the Sprinkles fabric that's so over it do but I actually prefer this to theirs. Um, I think that's the thing with this issue of birder actually. Some of the fabrics I prefer to the actual garments that they've made. This dress, I mean that would be okay for me for work but what on earth? Who's going to, I mean you know if I wore that I would look ridiculous. Anyway, um... I love this coat again, really, really love it. There, where is the, there is the line drawing for it, but I think that is just gorgeous. Um, I know I've just made a coat again, obviously, but I really wanna have a go at this one because I really like that. Um, again, we've got this hoodie here, which is out of um, drapey fabric. So I agree with Jay on that. I don't think that's particularly useful. Um, and then moving along, I love this jumper. I know Jay wasn't totally taken with it, but I really like it. This is the line drawing there. Um, I love the neckline and I love the wide sleeves on it and the cropped length. Um, I think that's really gorgeous. It's made up in some different fabrics a bit further on. Um, and I absolutely love this top as well with these inserts in the sleeves. I think that's really pretty. Again, there's the line drawing just there. Um, but I, I really like that. I, I like the contrast and everything. So, and I love those colours that have been chosen there. So I may have a go at that at some point. This is the coat again. again. It's just gorgeous. I've not been into the teddy coat style at all. But seeing this here, I'd really like to make myself one in that colour as well. So I might have to go on the hunt for some teddy fabric. Not that I don't have enough fabric already. Um, this dress, it's okay. It's probably not something that I'll do though. Um, I'm not particularly bothered about that either. Um, and then we've got obviously all the pattern sheets there. Um, what else? Yeah, that's a bit meh. That's a bit meh. Meh. I love that. That's the same jumper, obviously, but in a different fabric. And I just, yeah, I'm definitely going to make that. Definitely. Um, and then I think we go on to the plus sizes as a retro dress there. Um, yeah, we're into the plus sizes now. And if I'm perfectly honest, I just think, why do they do this? Just because you're plus size. You know, I just think it's, I mean, at the end of the day, people wear what they want to wear, don't they? But 
it really annoys me how magazines seem to think when ladies are in bigger sizes that they just want to drown their fig figures in um, oversized clothes all the time that don't show off their curves and their feet, best features and things and it really saddens me. Um, I mean I'm, to be fair, I tend to want to drown my curves most of the time anyway but you know, I just think come on, show those curves off. Um, yeah, there's not much in the plus size. I'll, I do quite like that. I think that's quite pretty actually, but um, it's a bit, you can't really see it because of the print. Um, yeah, I'm not keen on that skirt at all. That's not for me. Neither is that top. I don't particularly like that look either. So that's about it really. So there's two or three things in there that I like. Right, I seriously can't buy any more fabric. I'm just overwhelmed. Look at it. I've got all that jersey up there. Load of jersey there on the floor. Obviously my IKEA unit is full. Um, there's lycras for um, athletic wear, swimsuits etc in there. I've got some coating stuff just there. Um, that cupboard up there is full too. And there's a few bits in those boxes there and I've just got no room. I've got no room. Anyway, um, enough of that. Move, just move my daughter's poo bear. Um, oh, there's also a few bits over there as well. There's some more swimsuit lycra stuff in there. There's some soft shell in there. I've got some tutu netting. That's not for me. A um, few bits and pieces down there as well. So yeah, it's a mess. Anyway, I've pulled out some fabrics. So for the Haxby and the Birda Go Day skirt, I'm going to use this which is what I picked out in uh, Vlogmas that I got from Victoria, Material Girl Laura, so I'm going to use that and I've also chosen this which is a viscose out of my stash. I think I got this from Oh So Crafty, I've probably had it about three or four years now and um, there's a, quite a lot here actually so I know it's not very spring-like but actually the spring-like viscoses aren't really suitable that I've got aren't really the patterns aren't suitable for that skirt so those are the ones I've chosen for the skirt I am going to have another go at the sew over it curl neck top um, because I bought that lovely jersey from Gold Dot Road but because that was quite expensive I don't want to use that just yet so when I was speaking to Sean um, because she's made this loads of times she was recommended going down a size so I'm going to I did the size 12 before, I'm going to do the size 10. So I'm just going to use some black um, jersey that I've got. It's just a cotton jersey, this, but it's quite a lightweight one. So I'm going to use that to twirl it, um, the size 10, and see if I can just bring the shoulders in just a little bit because it was falling off my shoulders. So I'm going to have a go at that. I have pulled out this pattern, which is the paper cut bowline sweater. I've made this twice before and I absolutely love it. I'm just give you a bit of a close-up there so you can see it better it's quite a sort of unique style but I love things that are a little bit different um, and yeah I've pulled out this grey it is grey it's light grey grey and white um, knit from my stash which I'm going to make that up in because I've not made it for a few years now and I really want to have another go at it so uh, yeah so that's that one and coating fabric I forgot that I'd got this from Walton's when I got my Muppet fabric and yeah this is a but I think it's a Bowden fabric as well or something like that it's a designer fabric anyway but yeah I've got three meters of this and the coat again that's in here that I said I liked the teddy fabric except it's not teddy is it where is it that one I'm gonna have a go at in this now the only thing is I'm not sure if this is lined does it say it's lined I can't read whether that says it's lined or not. It just says wool fabric, but yeah, I'm not sure if it's lined. So we shall see. If it's not, I'm going to have a go at creating a lining. So yeah, that's going to be that coat because that'll look amazing. Right, um, one other thing to show you tonight. So the last thing is this. I got um, Martin to nip to boys this afternoon while he was off to pick oops two meters of this satin fabric daughter wants a sash for her birthday to wear on her birthday so i'm going to make one i'm going to use the, my cricket to um do a name and an age etc and stick it on this so i might have a little go at that tonight actually because i've really got into this cricket thing at the minute marley what are you doing come on marley 
Molly, where are you? Hello! Hello! Are you getting in the way? Oh, happy Tuesday. So I'm home from work. Oh, what a day. I've been so busy today. I've been over in Rotherham today. And um, yeah, it's been a really, really busy day. So I'm home now anyway. And just made myself a cup of coffee. Um, Isaac's just taken Marley out for a walk because Marley's been in his crate. And um, yeah, I've got some happy mail. So I'm going to open this and see what it is. So I've got a feeling this is from Anna. Me and Anna were talking at the retreat, the retreat, it wasn't the retreat. Me and Anna were talking at the Gold Hawk Road meetup the other day. Oh, Anna. Oh, bless you. Oh, Anna sent me December Birder. Oh, you superstar. Thank you so much. Oh, bless you. Oh, that's wonderful. I am so pleased. Thank you, Anna. Do you know, sewing people really are the best, aren't they? Oh, this is amazing. Really amazing. After a really tough day, this is just lovely to come home to. Thank you so much, Anna. Oh, I'm going to enjoy having a look through that later. But first things first, I need to sort some tea out. My husband, Martin. Martin is still at work. He finishes about quarter to seven tonight, I think. And um, yeah, I need to sort some tea out. I am so tired. So, so tired. I just want to go get a bath and get into my PJs, which actually I think I might do. Um, and then decide what we're having for tea. So um, yeah, I'll catch up with you later. Well, today's Wednesday. I'm just home from work. I'm at home a little bit earlier today because I needed to go to the doctors just for a checkup, but all's good, so that's fine. I, I've just made myself a cup of coffee. It's not been too bad a day at work today. Um, and I was gonna go for a run, but yeah. Um, I really don't feel like it. I just want to sit with a coffee. I've got no motivation at the minute at all. I um, ended up just going to bed early again last night and sleeping all night. I was so tired. Um, I'm back at the doctor's next week. Um, I'm still on the iron tablets, but I, I do feel better. But I think the main thing is I need to exercise. I think that's the biggest issue at the minute. I think that will really help my energy levels. Um, I've had a lot of stomach cramps recently and a few bits going on on a sort of female side shall we say without being too obvious and uh yeah i just don't feel up to going out running so i'm not going to go for a run i'm going to sit with my coffee i'm going to have a look at the bird that lovely anna sent me last night and um yeah i am going to um look at which patterns i want to trace off so that i can get that back to her i'm hoping to get that done this weekend so that i can get that back to her but um but yeah that's really good i've just joined the sew over it pdf club i don't know if any of you guys are members i was a member a couple of years ago i think it was the first year that they did it or the second year i can't remember if this is the third or fourth year now and um i didn't actually join rejoin it last year because i didn't find it i think a lot of the patterns that came out towards the latter end of my subscription the previous year i didn't actually um particularly was, was particularly drawn to so I didn't rejoin last year and um, I've decided this year to rejoin because there is a couple of patterns that I wanted but then when the they've just released the Farrah jumpsuit today and I really like it it's a bit like a boiler suit and I know that that again that's a difficult probably a difficult um, silhouette to pull off and I certainly wouldn't wear it at my shape at the minute but you know, I am planning to lose some weight for spring and I really like the the look of that pattern. So, so over it patterns tend to fit me quite well. So I wanted to get that one as my freebie, but I've had a bit of an issue in the fact that the code that they send you to get your free pattern when you join up to the PDF club doesn't work on that pattern with it being a new release. And it wasn't clear in the email. It just said that all PDF patterns were um, you know, you could choose from any one of their PDF patterns, excluding the Poppy and Jazz patterns and those in the ebooks, etc. So I did email them and they pointed me to their FAQs on the PDF membership on the website, and it does actually say on there, but it's really hard to find in the text. So I was a little bit miffed, I'll be honest, because as I say, in the email, my joining up email, it does not say that the first 
the new release patterns you can't use those as your free pattern until the following month if that makes sense so i'm just going to have to wait i'll hold on to it for now because i think i'd like to use that as my free pattern if that makes sense so anyway um yeah that's me just waffling on i'm not wearing me made today i'm wearing a dress that i bought from h&m i got this um probably about october time i think and i wear it for work sometimes and um yeah i wore it to go out for my dad's 80th back in november so it's nice it's nice and big and floaty and very shapeless because it's a bit of a swing dress but you can't really see it very well can you but um you get the idea but it hides a multitude of sins of which i have many at the moment and uh yeah so i am going to um hopefully get something cut out tonight i would really like to get the jackie dress printed off because i was going to do that the other night and i never got around to it and um i'm hoping yeah that i will be able to get that printed off tonight and choose some fabric um i'm still on the fence about doing the same dress as sean um using that gorgeous velvet i really want um i really want a jackie dress out of that fabric but i just feel i feel really bad i feel really bad copying sean you know i know that people have flat a lot of people are flattered by that kind of thing and i'm flattered if anybody does it not that anybody ever has <laughs> just saying but um but yeah it's it just feels a bit wrong so oh i've just gone into the dark i'm looking for my daughter's top that i made last week you know the one that i made for her party um and i can't find it i think it must be upstairs in my sewing room let's let's nip upstairs and just see if i can find it there it is so yeah i've done the 21 on the back and i'm really chuffed how that looks and then the front if you remember looks like that so it just needs um she's really into sausage dogs she loves sausage dogs and i've got um a you know one of those f, f oh gosh s S S V S V G. that's it i've got one of those svg files of a sausage dog and i think i'm going to print that out on htv as well and stick that underneath there because i think she'll really like that i did get her um sash made the other night and i'll just show you that now it's just in that black satin and i didn't follow a pattern as such i just sort of um made it up as i made it up as i went along um so that's it here um, what I've done is I have obviously just sewn one side, I folded it over, sewn one side to make a, um, a long rectangular piece, turned it the right way around and then I have French seamed the end on a, on a diagonal like that so that that bit sits, sits against the hip when it's on a shoulder so obviously she's going to wear it like that that say on her right shoulder and then that end will fit on her hip and then I'm going to put a, her name 21 on there and probably some more sausage dogs right then so I thought I would sit down with the December bird that the lovely Anna sent me so that I can have a look through and decide what I want to trace off this week seems to be a lot of um looking at bird magazines doesn't it um I've had my tea so um I feel all chilled and relaxed now so Let's have a little look and see what we fancy. I quite like that jacket. That's the um, line drawing there. I'm not sure about this little bit. That's the only thing. I don't know if I like that. Hmm, might think about that one. Um, Anna, you do know if you're watching though that I am going to have to obviously take out the pattern sheets from inside so it's not going to come back to you in such pristine condition i hope that's not an issue but let me know if it is um i really like this top with the button back i think this is the one that jay made and um, she did it in a hound's, hound's tooth fabric and um, she did a couple versions of it but i really like that so i might trace out that um don't know about that dress i'm I just it's just a bit too fussy i think those pin tucks i mean they look quite nice but they're lost in that fabric aren't they so um let's move forward to see what else um i've got trousers similar to that already i mean that dress is beautiful isn't it but um that's the line drawings just there but i do think i've got a pattern very similar to that already so i probably don't need another one um let's move forward i really like this top really like it but these buttons are sort of little rouleau loops i think and 
I find rouleau loops really difficult to make. Well, they're not difficult to make, but to get them small enough and to actually keep the buttons sort of the button closure closed, I find really difficult. Um, so I'm not sure about that one. This dress I love. I think it's gorgeous. Um, that's the line drawing just there. And yeah, that is exactly my sort of style. So I may trace that one out for definite. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, that coat I really like as well. I think that's beautiful. I like the asymmetric um, closure at the top and the full sort of skirt. I think that's really nice. So I'll definitely trace that one out. Um, what else have we got? Oh, that's that dress again. Actually, I really like that. In a plain fabric with those boots and how they styled it, I think that's really nice. So I might actually trace that out as well. Um, I'm not bothered about either of those. This skirt, I really love it. I just love the details on it. Um, it's made up in a viscose there, so I may trace that one out as well. That skirt, I love this skirt. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I like the exposed zip at the front. Um, that A-line shape really suits me, so I may, well, I'm going to definitely, definitely trace that. Really like, oh, uh, that, actually, that's that jacket from earlier, but it's just this bit here. I'm really not sure I like that. But I do like, I do like those sort of stripes down the side. I think that's quite nice. Yeah, I think that's probably about it. So there's a good three or four things there, isn't there, that I can um, get traced out, but I'm probably going to have to do that at the weekend. I've got the Jackie PDF all stuck together and I've just been looking at the instructions and I think I am going to cut out the size 10, just the straight size 10. Obviously this is a stretchy dress so I think based on my measurements that's probably the best one to go for. Not sure if I'll need to lengthen it, I will have a look when I've cut it all out. I've decided that I am going to, not twirl it as such, but I'm going to use a cheap fabric out of my stash. This, I've got this in my stash which was from Colville ages ago because I don't really buy from them anymore now um but yeah I've had this in my stash quite a while and there's well over um three and a half meters here the instructions say that it needs three and a half meters obviously if I'm going to be adding length to it which I might be and um, then I may just need a little bit more I'm not obviously going to pattern match it but um because this is just just a cheap fabric that I got from them in one of their bundles I think I'm going to use this first because I think it'll look quite nice made up um yeah so i'm gonna get that cut out tonight and i'm not sure if i'll make a start on it tonight but i'm go going to get it cut out at the very least right it's all cut out and i'm really really pleased um i'll be honest with you i really don't like this fabric um i love the print but the actual fabric i don't like it's a cheap um crepe jersey but it is very very cheap quality if anybody's wondering why I don't buy from Colville anymore well this is why um if I open this out this was a piece I think it was something like a five meter piece that I got in a bundle um and it was um described as perfects and as you can see it's not if you look closely you can see how the print is faded in lots of places and there's all these lines across it etc etc um so that whole piece there which is probably about a meter and a half is totally unusable um i mean obviously that side look is pretty okay but the print has totally gone off there so uh so yeah so that's why i've stopped buying from them good morning today's saturday and um yeah i haven't actually filmed anything for the last couple of days um it's been a bit of a busy week i've been really busy working all week and uh, yeah i've had a couple of bad days really um really really tired um yeah I've, I've been a little bit under the weather as well so it's not been great but so when i've been getting in from work on a night i've just been flaking out and had nothing to vlog really um last night i was in bed for quarter to eight and slept right through till eight o'clock this morning so I think I'm just tired, but anyway, um, yeah, today's Saturday and um, 
I've got a few bits planned for today. I've been out for a run already, which can you just see Marley in the background there? I've just been upstairs, had a shower because I've been out for a run, got back, had a shower, done my hair. So I need to get him out of his crate now. And uh, yeah, I've got my Alex shirt on today. This is a, uh, this is a sew over it pattern that is in their first ebook, Work to Week. Is it Work to Weekend? No, it's my capsule wardrobe, I think. Um, yeah, and I made this out of some sea salt fabric a couple of years ago now and um, really love it. So actually I've just dug this out to put on today with some jeans. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get the Jackie dress sewn up today. Well, the twirl of the Jackie dress anyway. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Got some new patterns. Simplicity have 50% off all their patterns at the minute. So that is always a precursor for the new season coming out, isn't it? So I'm a member of Sew Direct, I think I've mentioned that before and I've bought some patterns from them, um, three simplicity ones, no actually two simplicity ones, a Birder one and a Vogue one. Now I did actually buy another Birder one but then they emailed me telling me that um, they can't get it so which is a bit disappointing but never mind. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would show you the patterns that I bought. Right, so the first one I got is this one, Simplicity S9012, and it's this lovely sort of trapeze style dress, I guess, with the flouncy sleeves and neckline. I really like this dress, and at the moment when I'm feeling bigger than I really want to be, I don't want to be emphasising much of my figure, so this will hide a multitude of sins. I want to make this for my daughter's birthday, because next weekend, obviously, she's coming home, um, and we're having a bit of a family get-together for her 21st, which is actually on Wednesday this week. So I want, I really want to make this dress to wear at that party. Um, I've had a look at the back. It takes two and a half meters, well, just over two and a half meters of 60 inch wide fabric and it recommends cotton lawn lightweight sateen silky type soft cotton soft linen etc i've got plenty of that in my stash so i'm going to raid my stash for that i think um next up is this one which is simplicity 8546 and this has been out a while but i really love this sort of over shirt i when i was on my way back to the train station last weekend can you believe it's a week ago a week ago today we were fabric shopping but anyway yeah when i was in london last saturday um on, on my way back to the train station after the meetup i saw a girl walking across one of the plazas with this fabulous overshirt on just like this um different color but it was amazing and as soon as i saw it i thought i know there's a pattern for that um so yeah i found it this one and it's that version there version b and i really want to make that for spring as like an overshirt and wear it exactly like that with jeans and a little vest top i think that'll look really nice so um yeah that takes let's have a look view b again probably three meters of fabric it says so um yeah i will have a little think about that one probably further on in the spring then this is i don't know if i mentioned this in last week's vlog i want to make a nice jacket for spring and i want to do it in a pastel probably lilac i really fancy a pastel lilac or pastel pink i really love this version i've seen obviously there is the jessica blazer by closet case patterns um but i really love this bird pattern which is six four six three i was showing it to anna last weekend actually i really like the line drawing of this where the pockets are sort of into the seam if that makes sense so um yeah I, i'm gonna i'm having a trip to walton's on tuesday um jj from the camden stitch is after some reasonably priced athletic um lycra for swimwear etc and I mentioned to her that there's low obviously there is loads in Walton's and I said I'd do at FaceTime when I next go and I'm planning to go on Tuesday because I have a day off during the week on Tuesday which is a bit of a, a bonus and um, I thought I might look to see if they've got any spring fabrics in as well a plain I just want a plain lilac or a plain maybe pale blue pale pink mint that kind of thing for spring so yeah really pleased to get that one and i've been eyeing this one up for a while um it's a bit of a veer from my normal style so to speak but i love i absolutely love this coat i think it is gorgeous and i am not sure whether i will get around to this this winter now because well i'm not going to get around to any coat this winter am i because i just keep putting it off but i just really fancy this in red a really nice red 
um, I just think it's stunning. So, um, yeah, so I thought I would grab that while I had the opportunity. So, yeah, so they are the four patterns that I got from Sew so Direct. Um, and I want to get the Jackie sewn up today, but then I want to get this one done this weekend as well so that I have... I have that made to wear for my daughter's party next weekend so I'm gonna to have to choose some fabric from my stash for that so we'll be raiding that later right so I want to show you um, where I'm at at the minute I have just done the back facing piece and the upper back and Shan mentioned about when she made this up what she did with the second version was she extended the back facing piece which is this piece here to meet the back up the upper back piece so that it catches it in the seam when we join the upper back piece together with the side piece um, and she mentioned the reason for that was because the facing piece otherwise just tends to flap about so um, obviously this is my twelve version but what I've done is I have just used my pattern piece for the back facing and then I've put some um, some tracing paper over the top and I have traced out um, an extension piece which is this piece here so um, yeah basically all I've done is I've traced the outline of the back, upper back piece and then added on a bit there which I'm going to use to sellotape to this facing piece so hopefully the next time I make this it will have the extension in so that I'll be able to catch the back facing in the seam um, yeah what a really good tip Jackie dress is done I love this dress it's awesome um, yeah I'm gonna just stand back a little bit and show you what it looks like in a, so you can see a little bit better than you can see just the top half but i'm really pleased with how it's come out so there we go yeah really really love it um what can i tell you about this dress i mean i've got it on with my socks at the minute i don't know if you can see that but um yeah it's really lovely now if you can see um the sleeve length is obviously a little bit short i did add an inch on to the sleeve length but it's still come up a little bit short um what else can i tell you i had to i cut out this i cut out the straight size 10 and um it i didn't add any length at all to either the waist or the length of the skirt and it comes to sort of mid mid to lower calf on me which is perfect so that's really nice it's quite refreshing to be able to uh, make up a pattern that i've not really had to alter much um the other alterations i did make is that i found that the waist as i say i cut a straight size 10 but i found that the waist was just too big and i've taken it in at the waist by a good three inches so i mean obviously i am a pear shape and i do have a small waist it's a little bit larger than normal at the minute and um, i've still got plenty of room in the front as well so all i did was the sort of princess seam that comes down here i took it in by um about an inch there and an inch on that seam as well and then also in at the side seams and I've still got plenty of room so um yeah I mean this fabric is not the most um it's not the most high quality fabric but for a twirl it was definitely definitely worth it I have done the rouleau loops on the back you're not going to be able to see those but I'll probably do some twirls um later on at the end of the month when I do my um, monthly makes bid um but yeah i used i hate luro 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 rulo loops i hate rulo loops i just can't can never make them but i tend to do them out of um elastic now because i just find it easier so i the, the biggest issue i have with them is that they always come undone so when i saw that these were rulo loops at the back of the neck which of course they're going to be aren't they it, it was a bit like oh I don't know if that's going to work so I just used elastic and it's been fine so um but yeah I love it I absolutely love it I'd love to make one for spring sort of sleeveless but not with my arms as they are at the minute because they're not very toned um and yeah as I say just the sleeve length is just still a bit short for me but it's bracelet length it's okay and uh yeah love it so now now I've got that done it's probably taken me about three hours altogether to get this sewn up 
and completely finished. I have just machine stitched the hem. I have not blind stitched it or hand stitched it because it's quite a big skirt on this. Um, but um, but yeah, I think it'll look great with tights and boots and a little, little leather jacket. So that's going to be cool. Um, yeah, I need to now get some lunch because it's about, I'm not sure what time it is actually, about quarter to two and I'm pretty hungry. Um, so I'm going to get some lunch and then we can choose some fabric to make that simplicity dress from. Right, I've chosen some fabric, um, so I thought you might like to see what I've chosen. Um, it's another Colville special, so it was a cheap, a cheap, really cheap fabric. Um, it probably cost £9 for the piece or something like that. Now, um, I have actually seen some sea salt fabric that I've got upstairs. It's a cotton lawn that I really want to make this dress out of that I think will be lovely for the spring. However, it was not cheap because sea salt fabric isn't cheap um, and I haven't washed it yet either. It's still in its like folded up, um, folded up little parcel so to speak. So I've decided that I will twirl this dress first out of this fabric that I'm about to show you and then if it works I'll get the other fabric washed and do it out of the sea salt fabric as my final version for spring. So here it is, it's just it's a drapey fabric it feels I don't know actually it's obviously polyester but it's quite soft it's nice I do really like it um, black with these lovely flowers so I think that'll look quite nice as that as that dress so I'll get the pattern pieces traced off and uh, we'll get started right so hopefully you can see this in a little bit more detail now so this is the dress finished I am really pleased with it actually. Um, it's slightly modified from the original pattern because, well, I absolutely love these sleeves and I'm going to go, I'm going to do a separate pattern review for this and go into a lot more detail. But um, yeah, I modified the frill round the sleeve. All the hems of the sleeves are um, narrow hemmed. Hopefully you can see that. That is as well. Um, and obviously it's, you know, a, an A-line and it's got a deep, a deep cuff and the bottom, um, cuff, hem, that's what I mean. Um, but yeah, really pleased with it. Obviously the neckline is, um, elasticised as well with a little cuff. Um, but yeah, I do really like it. It's lovely. It looks nice on. Um, but yeah, I have modified it a lot. Well, not a lot, but yeah, a fair bit. So anyway, I'm going to do a separate pattern review for this dress, but I am really pleased with it and I'm going to be wearing it on next Saturday for my daughter's birthday. So it's Sunday again and um, I'm just back from another run. I have, um, yeah, I've been up, husband's gone to work, got up with him and as soon as he headed out to work I thought I'm going to go out and do my run. It was really tough with running yesterday as well. I've done 5k both mornings now and uh, yeah it wasn't easy today. Um, running on tired legs and achy muscles um, but it's good to be sort of taking those tentative steps back into it and um, I'm pleased I've been out. Got a really busy day today. I am going to, well I've got a nip to my local town to do a little quick little bit of shopping to get something in for tea i've got my dad coming over i haven't mentioned actually my dad is home which is really good news he's so much better he's a million times better than he's been for the last sort of 12 months really so that's really good um yeah he's doing really well and it's like having my dad back which has been a long time coming so it's really nice so yeah I did nip and see him yesterday and asked him to come over for tea so I'll be picking him up later this afternoon he'll come and have tea with us which will be lovely um yeah I've gone up to my local town to get some food and also to get some I want to get my daughter a like a gin glass or a champagne flute or something that I can personalize using my Cricut machine um yes yeah, so i want to look for that as well um so yeah it's uh what time are we on about 10 to 9 so i've just had my shower after my run i'm going to get ready and then the shop's open 10 today because it's sunday so i will um yeah get myself sorted right i'm back from shopping i have my gin glass with some water in it it's not gin honestly and i have just printed out i don't know if you're really going to see that but i've just printed out on some permanent vinyl um bronte's name and her um age or the age she will be which i'm going to transfer onto the gin glass now 
a tip that I read, the reason why it's got water in is a tip that I've just been, I've been researching this online and a tip that I found was that if you have water in it before you apply your vinyl, it gives you a straight line to use as a guide because obviously with it being a curved glass, it can be a bit awkward to get it exactly straight. So I thought that was really useful. So I'm going to have a go at just weeding this off. I have never done this before. Right, so I've used my weeding tool to weed away the excess vinyl that was around her name and number and I put the camera down because it was a little bit awkward. Um, but I'm really pleased with how that's come out. Now another tip that I read online was that obviously we've got to get this transferred onto the glass. Another tip that I read was to use masking tape rather than the transfer tape. So I'm going to have a go and we'll see. We'll see if it works. I hope you can see that. Um, I'm really pleased with how that's come out. I hope she likes it. Um, yeah, it was quite fiddly. Um, I think using a cursive font like this makes it very fiddly, but I'm really pleased with it. So uh, yeah, that's great. I'm gonna let that cure now. I think it needs a good couple of days to cure because this is a permanent final. So, um, but yeah, really, really love that. I'm really happy with how that's come out. Um, my poor daughter, obviously we've given her a unique name. She's gone through all her life where um, trying to buy anything that's personalised has always been difficult because it's one of those things that um, you just don't see her name on anything. So I think she'll be really, really happy with that. And um, it's a nice little keepsake for her, isn't it, for her 21st. So I am going to spend the rest of the afternoon now playing with my Cricut maker because I love it. Um, I need to do the lettering for her sash. I've still got that to do. Um, I haven't told you what I'm wearing today. This is a Tilly and the Buttons Freya top with the ruched front. Is it the Freya? I think it's, or no, it's not the Freya, it's the Agnes. It's the Agnes. I've made the Agnes with the ruched front out of this lovely um, leopard print jersey that I got from Like So Amazing last year, I think. But, um, but yeah, I made this earlier in January and I've not worn it yet, so I put that on today. Right, I'm going to sign off now because I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon um, playing with my Cricut Maker, I think, today, after having a great sewing day yesterday. But I hope, hope you've enjoyed um, my second weekly vlog and um, I'm going to get this uploaded later tonight, I think. So I will see you all next week. Take care, bye!